That's about right. Metatronic. Jamindo.com. Free download link below, unless they move it just to make me feel silly. Damn it, YouTube, stop fixing everything. I liked it better when it was broken. Actually, it was never broken until you fixed it. All right, let's do some of this. I don't even remember where I was. And I haven't read ahead. Looks like section 18. And major masthead here. I better pour a chub. Have a closer look, folks. This is the bomb. You know you want to have this music for yourself. You can download it for free. Or you can even donate some money to an artist. Probably a starving artist, too. They probably can't even afford this, this wonderful elixir. It's a magical elixir because it changes your head. All right. Here we go. All right. Section 18. Revelation to Joseph Smith the Prophet, Oliver Cowdery, and David Whitner. Given at Fayette, New York, June 1829. That must be towards the end of the year. I mean, end of the month, because... I mean, damn, that was a busy month. History making, or... At least I made this. This. Alright. <laughs> making known the calling of the Twelve Apostles in these last days and also containing instructions relative to building up the Church of Christ according to the fullness of the Gospel. Probably this one, right? When the ironic priesthood was conferred the bestowal of the Melchizedek priesthood was promised. Well, you could reach that next level for if you take these courses, each one five hundred dollars. Wrong. Oh wait, wrong, wrong religion. I'm sorry. But anyway, you could get to that next level. This is probably like the equivalent of like OT three. <laughs> I guess. By the way, I just finished reading Inside Dianetics by Janet Reitman. Totally pick up a copy, man. Wow. <laughs> they must be mad at her. <laughs> See heading to section 13. Sorry, been there, done that. I don't go backwards here. I'm only moving forwards these pages. Forwards is how we get through this shit. Backwards just delays the whole thing. In response to fervent supplication for greater knowledge, on the matter, the Lord gave his Revelation. See History of the Church, Volume 1, page 60 through 64. Can't do that right now, but I'm sure I'll get to it. Diligence 
enjoined Oliver Cowdery and David Whitmere called with the calling of Paul the Apostle of old. You mean like the 13th Apostle? Paul? Oh yeah, yeah. God did it in the spirit, man. I'm the first self-made apostle. Now I'm going to change every fucking thing and never quote Jesus and exonerate the Romans and blame the Jews for killing the king of the Jews. The Romans just were forced to do all that. Come on, man. You know the Jews had the upper hand and could force them to do a thing, anything, anything at all. Those poor Romans being punked out like that. <laughs> the value of souls emphasized. I'm still in the masthead, by the way. <laughs> the value of souls emphasized, huh? Yeah, really. You should get like a punch card. And, you know, you might be able to like buy that, you know, like a hibachi or a, I don't know, a telescope or a digital camera or, or a, other wonderful prizes like an iPod. Really, I mean, souls have value. <laughs> the great joy attending conversion of souls to the gospel of Christ. That must feel good. The calling of twelve to assist in the ministry foreshadowed. The twelve here called disciples, but later named apostles. Uh, yeah, because he had twelve apostles and tons of disciples. To be chosen from among those. See, he didn't have twelve disciples yet. <laughs> no, here called disciples later named apostles to be chosen from among those who desire to take upon them the name of Christ with full purpose of heart it may not make sense but doesn't it feel good <laughs> uh. Oliver Cowdery and David Whitmere commissioned to search out the Twelve. So it's like a quest. That's awesome. All right. Verse 1, we get to finally start. <laughs> That's section 18, if you've forgotten by now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Look at that shit. Look at That's all masthead. Damn. One, now behold, because of the thing which you, my servant, Oliver Cowdery, have desired to know of me, I give unto you these words. Two, behold, I have manifested unto you by my spirit, in many instances that the things which you have written are true. So there you go. That's that's satisfying, right? They said it's true, so I guess it's okay. I'm glad they did all that hard work for me. I'll just believe from now on. Eh, maybe not. Three, and if you know that they are true, behold, I give unto you a commandment that you rely upon the things which are written. Biot. <laughs> that's all you get is shit that's written. I mean.
for for in them are all things written concerning the foundation of my church. My gospel and my rock. I know, Joey. Metatronic. They're strange, but you'll like them. Five. Wherefore, if you shall build up my church upon the foundation of my gospel. <laughs> and my rock. The gates of hell shall not prevail against you. Six. Behold, the world is ripening in iniquity. And it must needs be that the children of men are stirred up unto repentance, both the Gentiles and also the house of Israel. Seven. Wherefore, as thou hast been baptized by the hands of my servant, Joseph Smith, Jr., you go, Joe. According to that which I have commanded him, he hath uh, fulfilled the thing which I have commanded him. That's nice. Eight. And now, Marvel not that I have called him unto mine own purpose, which purpose is known in me. Wherefore, if you shall be diligent in keeping my commandments, he shall be blessed unto eternal life. And his name is Joseph Joey. Joey the Prophet. Joey the Prophet. I like that. Nine. And now, Oliver Cowdery, I speak unto you, and also unto David Whitmere, by the way of commandment. For, behold, I command all men everywhere to repent. Because you're guilty of something, I'm sure. And I speak unto you, even as unto Paul, mine apostle, and the only one you feel is worthy of mentioning, I notice. The self-appointed apostle. For you are called even with that same calling, with which he was called Ten the first. Oh, wow. Ten. Remember, the worth of souls is great in the sight of God. Eleven. I can't. What the fuck? He made everything. He set everything up to be the way it is. Then he blamed people for doing what he set up us set us up to do. And now he's willing to save a couple of us. Even though we're all his, but fuck the rest. Come on. If he's real and he ain't, this is some of the worst characteristics of a alpha male. I mean, this guy's a this guy's a bully and uh, an insensitive, unlovable, and unloving prick. Just saying, if he's real, fuck him. And he ain't. I haven't been struck by lightning yet, but I've heard of a few Christians that did get struck by lightning. So. 
they should know some people out in Washoe County. And yeah, it's like I was staying with some aunt and uncle in Nevada near Washoe Lake. It's really beautiful, but real flat and lots of lightning. And yeah, they had a couple of Christians get struck by lightning when I was a kid. It was hilarious. I mean, not at the time, but kind of. I mean, because I was there, you know, running around. I'm preordained to be the way I am, so. But I have free will to be, but preordained. But, uh, I went off on a tangent, sorry. Eleven. For behold, the Lord your Redeemer suffered death in the flesh. That really hurt. Wherefore, he suffered the pain of all men. Uh, and, no, I don't think so. If he, if he was suffering the pain of everybody, he's either a masochist and going, oh, more, more, or he ain't real. Because there's all kinds of suffering, and if he suffers all of it, that's like massive overload there. All because somebody ate a piece of mythical fruit. Probably a fig. <laughs> Wherefore he suffered the pain of all oh, men, I hardly think so. That all men might repent and come unto him. Makes perfect sense if you're deeply indoctrinated. But otherwise, it's like, what? All right, and it, about that Xenu guy. Oh, wrong one? Sorry. Twelve. And he hath risen again from the dead, that he might bring all men unto him on conditions of repentance. Yeah, so he, he was dead for a whole three days, and now his love is conditional. Sounds like, I could just see people in heaven going, I never thought Jesus would bitch slap me. I guess he doesn't respect me. After all these years of brown nosing. Unless everything really does turn all nice. Doesn't sound like it. 13. And how great is his joy in the soul that repenteth. When I was like a little kid, they were asking me to repent. And I'm like, I wonder what he meant. <laughs> what? For what exactly? 15. And if it so be that you should labor all your days in crying repentance unto this people and bring, save it be one soul, unto me, how great shall be your joy in him, because it's going to be a guy, obviously. I guess, that's what they said. In the kingdom of my father. 16. And now, if your joy will be great with one soul that you have brought unto me into the kingdom of my father, how great will be your joy if you should bring many souls unto me. Goody, goody. And you'll get a pat on the head. Good kitty. You're so good. So obedient. Long-suffering and, and helpful to the group. Seventeen. Behold, you are my... Wait, be, you have my gospel before you? And my rock, and my salvation, 
Can you imagine if they stoned Jesus to death, all those Christians wearing a rock around their neck? And it, it's like, sure you want to go swimming? <laughs> Might want to take that off. <laughs> Eighteen. Ask the Father in my name, in faith, believing that you shall receive, and you shall have the Holy Ghost, which manifesteth all things which are expedient unto the children of men. Nineteen. And if you have not faith, Hope and charity. Well, I got the other two, so I'm all right. Just don't have the faith, really. In faith, I don't think so. I've been burned too many times, so I guess it's just if mythology is real, I guess I'll burn. That's all. Fuck it. You can do nothing without faith, hope, and charity. I got hope. I do. I suffer from depression. I still got hope. Because I make myself have hope. Because you can do that. What the fuck? You make up the rules, you know? You go, all right, you know what? The world would be better if people were better. So I'll try to be better. Everybody does that, and we're cool. This shit don't work. That's been proved time and again. Anyway, you can do nothing without faith, hope, and charity. 20. Contend against no church, save it be the church of the devil. Never even heard of such a thing. Does the devil have a church? There's some weird fucking churches out there. What, are, maybe the Scientologists? They don't believe in Jesus. And they got a crossed out cross. Think about it, they got a cross? And it's crossed out! What's up with that? I really want to know. Why do they have a cross? And why does it have a cross running through it? I mean, an X running through it. What's up with that? X means, uh cross that out, and cross means Jeebus. What the fuck? Just wondering. Church of the Devil. <laughs> Probably membership of uh, 12. Maybe. 13, probably. Because they gotta be, like, wicked. Alright. 21. The first... Sorry, this one's this video is bogging down. Sorry, I'll pick it up. Twenty-one. Take upon you the name of Christ and speak the truth in soberness. I'll speak the truth even if I'm drunk. I speak the truth as much as possible. I lie to save my ass, which doesn't happen too often because. I'm pretty boring and I don't take that many chances. This is the most outlandish I get. Alright. 22. And as many as repent and are baptized in my name, which is Jesus Christ, in case you forgot, and endure to the end, that means stay faithful to the faith and keep those tithes coming, the, s the same shall be saved. Oh. 23. Behold, Jesus Christ is the name which is given of the Father. Wow, just useless phrases thrown out left and right. And there is none other name whereby 
given whereby man can be saved. You've said that like a dozen times. Over and over and over again. You couldn't cut a few out. I mean, God, you're doing it in this book. It is written on gold. See? Weighs a ton. Twenty-three. Uh, no, twenty-four. Twenty-four. Wherefore, all men must take upon them the name which is given of the Father. For in that name shall they be called at the last day the crapture, which keeps not happening. I'm looking forward to the next one, and the next one. Uh, Alright. I mean, I w yeah, fine, let's get this over with already. Okay. Wherefore, if they know not the name by which they are called. They cannot have place in the kingdom of my father. 26. And now, behold, there are others who are called to declare my gospel, both unto Gentile and unto Jew. 27. Yea, even 12 and the twelve shall be my disciples, and they shall take upon them my name. And the twelve are they who shall desire to take upon them my name with full purpose of heart. It may not make sense, but just feel. Doesn't that feel good? Is it a a burning in the bosom, or is it a swelling? I forgot which. I'd never leave the house. 28. And if they desire to take upon them my name with full purpose of heart, it don't make sense, but it sure feels good. They are called to go and into the world to preach my gospel unto every creature. 29. And they are they who are ordained by me to baptize in my name according to that which is written. 30. Yeah, why didn't Jesus write anything down? What's up with that? And you have that which is written before you. Wherefore, you must perform it according to the words which are written. 31. And now I speak unto you, the twelve. Behold, my grace is sufficient for you. That's all you get. You must walk uprightly before me and sin not. Thirty-two. And behold, you are they who are ordained of me to ordain priests and teachers to declare my gospel. According to the power of the Holy Ghost, which is in you and according to the calling and gifts of God unto men 33 and I Jesus Christ your Lord and your God has spoken it 34 at first. These words 
are not of men, nor ma of man. It's not of men, nor of man. But of me. Wherefore, you shall testify they are of me and not of man. Okay? They'll believe you. 35. For it is my voice which speaketh, which speaketh them unto you. For they are given by my spirit unto you and by my power you can read them one to another <coughs> and save it were by my power you could not have them 36 wherefore you can testify that you have heard my voice and know my words Good enough. Who needs evidence when you have faith? Faith, you believe already. Evidence, you don't believe yet. You need to be convinced. Well, boom. Skip that step. You just believe already. Easier and it feels good and these are some cool folks, you know. I like them. I do. I like Mormons, most of them. I do. But I still think they're funny. I like a lot of Muslims, too. Doesn't mean I'm not going to give them shit. Because I'm going to. I've already done it, and I'll do it again. Sorry. I'm an infidel. I do that. I disrespect all religion. All of it. So, 37. And now, behold, I give unto you Oliver Cowdery, and also unto David Whitmere, that you shall search out the twelve knights of the round table. <laughs> no. But all of a sudden I want a pizza. Uh, search out the twelve who shall have the desire of which I have spoken. Yeah, I'm sure you'll find one. There's one born every minute, I understand. At least that's what P.T. Bornham is supposed to have said. 38. And by their desires and their works, you shall know them. 39. And when you have found them, you shall show these things unto them. 40, and you shall fall down and worship the Father in my name. <clears throat> 41, and you must preach unto the world, saying, You must repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Sorry you're missing the game, but I, you shouldn't have answered the door. Forty-two, for all men must repent and be baptized, and not only men, but women and children. And that's big of you. I was wondering if you're going to mention them, because they're human beings too. Last I heard. Yeah, unless we're talking Sharia law, then maybe not so much. Who have arrived at age of accountability, those women and children who are always lumped together. Interesting. It's nice when you're getting a life raft, though. <laughs> Otherwise, not so great. 43. And now, after that, you have received it. After that, you have received this. You must keep my commandments and all things. 44. And by your hands I will work a marvelous work among the children of men, under the convincing of men, many of their sins, that they may come in, unto repentance, and that they may 
Come oh, in under the kingdom of my father. The big G. 45. Wherefore, the blessings which I give unto you are above all things. So, you don't really need all that shit that was written before then. You just need this. That's nice. Makes it easy. Uh, I hate thinking. Don't you? Just kidding. 45. Wherefore the blessings which I give upon you are above all blessings. 46. And after that, you have received this. If you keep not my commandments, you cannot be saved in the kingdom of my Father. 47. Behold, I, Jesus Christ, your Lord and your God, and your Redeemer, by the power of my Spirit, have spoken it. Amen. And that's 18, and that's all I can stand. Let me know if you've learned anything there. Because I've already forgotten it. Chime in. Peace. The fuck. Out. Have a wonderful. Whatever the fuck it is you're having. Because I'm sure not, but I'm trying. But come on, you can do better. Right? Let's go.